Hello, how are you? Um, I am having a book sale this week. Um, lots of field guides, over a hundred golden guides and a smattering of nonfiction books, uh, like family reference nonfiction type books. So I'm gonna show you them. It shouldn't take me too long because I really don't have that much. Hey, Bucky. Um, so let's go ahead and get started. So this is the Little Nature Library Birds. This one, I want you to see that it's got some damage here. You can see the webbing, and you can see the webbing here as well. And it's a little wobbly, see that? Um, but otherwise it's in um, good condition. Everything is in here, all the color plates are in here. Uh, there was a little um, greeting card tucked in here. I'm gonna have to find, oh, here it is. A special Thanksgiving message. And it's blank inside. Isn't that nice? So I'll keep that tucked into that book. And then I have this set of the Nature Library. These are from 1926. I have um, butterflies, birds, wildflowers, garden flowers, and animals. So I'll be selling these as a set. And here's the inside. They all are about the same level of um, wear and tear. So some um, wear and tear there. That one has a little bit of a rip. There you go. So that is a wonderful set. I should have my glasses on. Burp. Okay. Next we have Men of Science. This is a badger book and it's got some damage on the spine there, but this is a pretty cool book. Um, looks like it might have had some water at some point. It's got some marks on it. Um, 1959. So we have Louis Pasteur, George Washington Carver, Henry Ford, Guillermo Marconi, Wilbur and Orville Wright, Lee de Forest, Sir Alexander Fleming, El Albert Einstein, and Enrico Fermi. So there's what it looks like inside. Nice little mid-century illustrations there. Would be nice if there was a woman in there but alas there's not this book i think is amazing amazing it is called telling tommy i actually had this in a sale before but i don't think i included it in the preview video so you guys didn't know what it was so it's called telling tommy about um, mother nature's curious children so there's a series of these telling tommy books i think that have different um topics so this one um, the dust jacket is kind of stuck to the book. Um, it must have gotten wet at some point. So there's also, no, I guess maybe it's not part of a series because it just looks to, like telling Tommy about Mother Nature's curious children. So we have telling Tommy about butterflies, curious mice, toy fish, jumping beans, hummingbirds, tree frogs, algae, snails, mushrooms. Uh, telling Tommy about Mother Nature's inventions. Telling Tommy about spiders, moths, starfish, nature's freaks. Telling Tommy about cotton, fish stories, rats. Tom, telling Tommy about plants. Telling Tommy about ants. Yada, yada, yada. But look at these illustrations. Now, Jack and I read today the page about rats. Oh, here it is right here. And he saw the Pied Piper there. And I was reading it and uh, saw that the Pied Piper was originally written but is a Robert Browning poem so we went and read the poem. Um, plants that eat meat so just really fabulous black and white illustrations all throughout this book and all different kinds of nature topics animals in the plant world. Isn't that fabulous? I love it. Um, this is Amelia Earhart American Women of Achievement uh, the Courage of Helen Keller. I like these little paperbacks. Uh, I've had quite a few of these. Um, and this one, it looks like it's a former library book. Then we have two Gail Givens left over from the last sale, The Bicycle Book, which is just so fun. I love it so much. And Goals, Goals, Goals. And then this book, I'm sure a lot of you already have this is a family reference and incomplete education. I just find this book so delightful to just read a little bit every day. So I just opened up to the literature section and it says bellying up to the bard. So it talks a little bit about Shakespeare, the comedies, the histories, tragedies, the romances. Um, and then the second most famous English 
playwright. So this is George Bernard Shaw. And um, there's a little bit here on the um, Boswell's Life of Johnson. Um, a bedside companion to the 19th century English novel. Um, all uh, on the farm, by the lake, in the valley, in the hills, at the manor, on the moor, in the meadow, in the woods. So like, what is a glade? What is a copse? What is a grove? Um, moor, heath, and fen, croft, style, um, and thorpe. I did not know what a style was. I've been reading the um, uh, Detective Lindley novels. They're mystery novels, but they're set in England. And I had to look up the word style because I didn't understand what it was. Um, and then the class structure, the royals, the lesser nobles, the gentry, uh, the clergy. So all of these things, and especially, I mean, this is just so fun. All the different carriages that you would have seen in like a Jane Austen novel and what the different carriages were used for and things like that. And then there's a section on music, political science, uh, religion, science, world history. So everything. It's such a fun book. Okay, let's see. What else do I have for you? A uh, real book about ships. For those of you that like these real book uh, series for kids, this one is about um, ships, the biggest ship in the world, full steam ahead, the first super liner, all kinds of stuff about ships. And then I have a dictionary of Greek and Roman mythology. This is really just um, a dictionary, so it's got everything in it. Um, a little reference book. This book is so beautiful. It's really noisy outside. I guess I should have closed. Oh man, somebody's about to mow their yard. Ugh. Okay, Our World in Space and Time. Look at the illustrations in this book. So perfectly mid-century. I love them so much. This is from 1960. The earth, the sun, and the seasons. Look at that. Isn't that beautiful? Oh, I love it. I swear somebody's always cutting the grass here. Okay, this is a music textbook. Music Now and Long Ago. I just think this one is really pretty because of the color. This is the California State textbook. I love their um, typeface. Um, I'm trying to learn to say typeface instead of font. So this is what it looks like inside. Isn't that charming? And then I have these two books on Native Americans. This one is Iroquois. Uh, it is a former uh, California library textbook, 1961. So the people inside a longhouse in Iroquois village travel, men's work, women's work, the children, clothing, storytellers, six festivals, games, League of Five Nations, uh, lessons learned. So um, growing up in New York State, you learn a lot about the Iroquois. And then I have the first book of Indians. Uh, this is also a former library book. Um, really, really just packed full of information about uh, different Native American tribes for children. Um, I think that is just about it. Well, I think I have a few more. This is The Science of Life, H.G. Wells. This was a really um, fabulous book when it first came out. It is giant. Um, 1934 so there's the inside and let's just flip life before fossils the abc of genetics the science uh the evidence of the rocks let's find some other illustrations here um life in the sea so this is a pretty popular book um and it's got lots of really cool illustrations in it i really like this one and I have a Peterson guide to Pacific State wildflowers here. There's the inside. Here we go. Lots of little bookmarks that are just tumbling out there. And this one is called Science Milestones, former library book. The story of the epic scientific achievements and the men who made them possible. So um, Anton Van Leeuwenhoek, The Little Animals. I love reading about him. He was the first one that saw um, like things squiggling around in a microscope. So there's the section on him. Oh, no, I missed it. That's William Harvey. Where'd he go? Robert Boyle. Wow, I really messed up there. Where did he go? There he is. Okay, 
So there's that. And then I have this giant book. You guys, I've been meaning to sell this book for probably a year. And I just keep forgetting because it's so big. I have it tucked away somewhere where I never see it. It is the Cat Walter, a magnificent full color identification guide to the world's 50 best loved cats. Beautifully illustrated on an eight foot fold out chart. Eight feet of cats, you guys. Somebody I know is going to want eight feet of cats. Okay, now all the rest of the things I have are field guides, okay? So I don't, I'm not gonna make a video for all the field guides because they're self-explanatory and if there was anything super wrong with one of them, I wouldn't be including them in the sale. But lots of them I have multiple copies of and so you will see when you get the Google Photos L, um, link in the email that I send that I have a picture that will have all the copies I have of that book in one picture and you just pick the copy that you want. Okay guys, so let me just tilt the camera so we can have a quick little peek at all the field guides I have. Look at all of those. Okay, so I will see you guys later this week in the email. If you're not a part of the email group yet, go ahead and join at prettyoldbooks.com or you can send me a message and I will add you. Send me your email address. Okay, so I will see you guys in the email later this week. Bye, thanks for watching.